Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Hope you're all doing well. In today's video I kind of put together a kind of a mixed bag here of a bunch of different things that I've picked up over the last two or three weeks here. Uh, I just decided to put everything all together and make one video showing everything that I got. Um, first off I just wanted to say that I think it was probably two weeks ago I did manage to go and see the Rolling Stones. Uh, they're just a couple hours away from me, so I decided to go and see them. Uh, they put on a really good show. Um, Mick Jagger just has so much energy running up and down the, the stage and dancing around just like he did back in the 60s, and his voice sounds really good. Uh, it was just a really good show. Um, the opening act for the Rolling Stones was the Black Pumas. Uh, I've heard of that band before, but I've never actually heard really any of their music before, so I wasn't really familiar with any of that. Um, but once they were done, the Stones came on and put on a really good show, sang mo uh, a good, good variety of, of their hits, uh, and they did really well with that. And uh, I, this is the t-shirt that I picked up from the show here, and it came in this nice Rolling Stones bag. So I thought that was pretty cool. So yeah, that's what I've been up to in the last month or so as far as concerts go. Kind of the first concert I've actually gone to in uh, probably a year and a half or so now. Um, next up, I just wanted to say a big thank you to my friend Robert P. I don't know if a lot, many of you probably have heard of him before on my videos. He's sent me some stuff in the past. And after getting the Get Back book from... Uh, the Beatles there at Target, um, he sent along this copy of the original Get Back book by the Beatles. This came uh, from 1970 in the, the Let It Be box set. Uh, this was part of, the, part of the set that came along with the, with the record. Uh, I'd never actually seen one of these in person, so it was really nice to get this from Robert. There's lots of great pictures in here from Leah... Uh, not Leon Russell, Ethan Russell. Uh, a lot of stills and things and pictures from making the Let It Be film. And then as we get towards the, the back here, we get a bunch of the dialogue and things from the, from the film itself. So I still want to try and compare this to the, to the new Get Back book to see if any of this dialogue is has been repeated in the in the the new book or if there's all completely new stuff so I just still need to get to that but yeah this was just a really great addition to my collection and I really appreciate that so thank you very much Robert P for sending that my way I really appreciate it uh, one thing I forgot to show in my last video that I made of uh, new items that I that I'd picked up um, along with the the new Grand Dude book that Paul McCartney put out. Uh, I did manage to pick up the audiobook on CD, which is also, it's written, um, of course it's written by Paul McCartney, but it's also read by Paul McCartney, which is really cool. And there's some kind of uh, background music and things like that that goes along through the, through the reading of the story that's played by uh, Paul McCartney. And uh, I think it said in the credits here that there was also some instrumentation done by um, his band member, Paul Wicks Wickens. So they kind of put together the music for this. And you got all the different, you know, sound effects and things like that in the background, which really adds to the, to the story. So just to let you guys know, that's available out there if you wanted to pick that up. You can see here I got the audiobook for the, the first book as well, so that would be a nice addition to the collection. And now, uh, just recently, um, Billy Preston was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Uh, unfortunately, it was done after he has passed away. But as in recognition of that, um, they have reissued his album, Encouraging Words, just to kind of commemorate his induction into the Hall of Fame and this is on the Apple label I got a nice black polyline sleeve that it comes in 
And of course it's on the Apple label here, which is nice. This is a really good album. If you've never heard this one, be sure and check this one out. Um, this has the songs uh, My Sweet Lord and All Things Must Pass, written by George Harrison, of course. And those songs were uh, released by Billy Preston on this album before George Harrison's All Things Must Pass album came out. So people got to hear Billy's version before they heard George's version, which is kind of interesting. Uh, and plus there's also the, the Beatles song I've Got a Feeling that he covers on here as well. So just a really good album. So be sure and pick that one up if you haven't already. And then just this past week, uh, there's been a lot of videos out there and talk about the new ABBA, ABBA album. And um, I wasn't sure if I was going to pick it up, but I had heard the first three songs that were released before the album came out itself. And I really enjoyed those albums, or those songs, I should say. And so I decided to pick up the album at my local Target. Uh, this is the Target exclusive version. As you can see, we've got an alternate uh, cover art here. This is their first album in 40 years. Uh, this is, uh, the four pictures here are their, uh, I guess they're the avatars that they're gonna be using. They're gonna be going on tour next spring, I believe, but they're not actually going out in person. They, uh, from what I understand, they re-recorded the vocals for a lot of their classic songs and they're gonna be playing, or their new recordings of their vocals are going to be played along with a live band, but the, the band themselves are just going to be represented in kind of a hologram type type form. So they don't actually have to go out on the road. They can just send their computer images along for the tour. And then the gatefold here, we've got kind of this solar eclipse thing and then some credits inside there. Uh, and then inside the one sleeve here is the little poster that you get along with it. Kind of going along again with that Eclipse theme. And then the Target exclusive here, not only is it the alternate artwork on the cover, um, but there's also colored vinyl along with that. And this is on yellow vinyl, which is really cool looking. And I was trying to figure out how you know which side is side A and which is side, is side B. But as you can see here in their name, they got the A highlighted in white there. And on this side, they got the B highlighted in white. So that's kind of a unique way to do that. And um, a lot of times I like to look at the dead wax on re new records and see if they got any kind of messages in there or anything. And I noticed that this one does have the same same message in there as the new uh, Let It Be release that just came out. It says, uh, Miles, Abbey Road, Half Speed, Room 30. And that's the same thing that's on the Let It Be vinyl releases. So I'm assuming this was uh, Half Speed Mastered at Abbey Road, just the same as the, the Beatles album was. And then the... The inner sleeve here has got the lyrics for all the songs. And I've listened to this album a few times now. Uh, with each listen, it gets a little better. I was, at first listen, I was like, it's not too bad of an album. Uh, next listen, it got a little better, and it just keeps getting better each time I listen to it. Um, I think it's a really solid album. If you enjoy Abba's music, I'm sure you're going to enjoy this one. The one thing I think is kind of out of place... Uh, the song Little Things is basically a Christmas song. It, to me, that seems out of place on the album here. Um, but other than that, there's a lot of really good music on here, so be sure and check that one out as well. All right. What's next? Uh, after picking those things up, I went over to the Barnes & Noble that's kind of close to the Target that I was at, and I just wanted to check and see if they had the new uh, Mojo magazine. And it, in fact, they did. This is the new um, edition of the Mojo magazine that features the Beatles on the cover with Get Back. And of course, you see here there's two gifts inside. We got a 
a Beatles cover CD and a Beatles art print included in here. And you can see there starring Paul McCartney and Peter Jackson and more. Um, there's also articles in here about uh, Charlie Watts, Genesis, Joni Mitchell, and lots of other good stuff in here. We'll open the bag here and let you take a look at that. All right, so here is the CD that comes along with the magazine. You can see the artists that are covering the Beatles there. And there's the, the songs on the back. And then the CD itself. I haven't had a chance to listen to this yet, so I'm not sure what some of these songs sound like, but it will be interesting to, to hear. And then here's the Beatles art print that's included with this. Nice glossy picture. And then on the back of this, it's got a advertisement here for the, the Get Back book. And then here is the, the magazine. And the entire, yeah, like I said, the entire magazine isn't all about Let It Be, but an advertisement for the deluxe edition that just came out and uh, like most of their other issues that come with CDs they got uh, information about each song that's on that cover CD information about each track there and then the let it be stuff here let's see kind of towards the center here Hang with me. All right, here it is. That's the last page of the article there. Oh, one more here. Talking with Giles Martin there, it looks like. So yeah, that's the end of that article. Uh, and then we got just different uh, new album reviews, uh, reviews of different reissues that have come out recently. But yeah, just lots of great stuff in this magazine overall. But yeah, it was nice to pick that up as well. I'm glad they had it on hand there. All right, and then the last thing that I'm going to show now today is a box set that I ordered that just came in today in the mail today. Uh, I've had this, have been looking at this for the last couple months. I think it originally came out in August, um, but I've kind of been putting off getting it. I'm just waiting for the right price. Uh, well, then I found a sale and I had some promo codes and things that I used, so I got it for a really cheap price. Uh, but this is the 50th anniversary of Eric Clapton's debut album. As you can see back here, this is the original artwork for the uh, original album there. Uh, but this is the box set. As you can see here, focus on the hype sticker. There's three different mixes of this album that were, that were done in 1970. Um, this box set includes four CDs, and all three of the mixes are included on here. And we got an, uh, a CD of singles, uh, different alternate versions and outtakes. Uh, there's new artwork, and there's a 24-page book, a hardcover book as well included in here. So the original album was uh, put up, that was put out is done by producer Tom Dowd. And then on the second CD, we have the Eric Clapton mix. Uh, I believe that one was previously unreleased until this set. Uh, there was a couple, I think there was a couple tracks that were on the um, Life in 12 Bars documentary that was recently done. Uh, and then they have the, the Delaney Bramlett mix. Uh, I, think I, I think I read in here that that was the mix that uh, Eric actually kind of wanted to have put out 
but he got to the record company too late and they ended up putting out the, the Tom Dowd mix instead. And then there's just eight tracks there for the, the bonus material. So we'll take this out and we got the kind of your typical folder here with the, the CDs in it. And here's a list of all the musicians on the on the album here. You know, we got Eric, Delaney Bramlett, uh, Leon Russell, Bobby Whitlock, just lots of great, great people. Basically, all of Derek and the Dominoes is on here. And then the four CDs are housed in here. And <clears throat> all the all the labels are the same, but they just got the different corresponding information on them. But that's what they look like. And then the hardcover book as well. So we'll just quickly go through it. It's just 24 pages, so I'll kind of flip through it quick here. We got some pictures of Eric and Delaney Bramlett there, their dogs. And then we got the track listing there again. And then we got a few pages of an article here, kind of talking about how this all came to be, how the mixes were done. And then here's Delaney and Bonnie and friends with Eric Clapton when they went on tour. And this little article here is from the 1970 uh, Melody Maker magazine. It's just got a selection of tracks there that Eric talks about from that magazine. A couple tape boxes there. And then here's the different label and sleeve variations from around the world, as well as uh, the different single labels here, which is kind of cool to look at those. And then here again is a picture of. Uh, Eric Clapton playing with uh, Delaney and Bonnie on tour with we got Carl Laredo there on bass, uh, Bobby Whitlock back there on organ, and Bobby Keys and Jim Price on horns. So there's the book, kind of short and sweet. Uh, so it'd be interesting to take a listen to all four of those CDs. So. Uh, just a little mixed bag here, like I said, of lots of different things available out there. So uh, hopefully you saw something that you liked. And I hope everybody stays safe, stay well, and I'll see everybody on the next video. Take care.